Captain, I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? <laughs> Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. SAA got here already. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Yes, sir. Okay. K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. Oh, I have so much to say about all of this. Okay, A, I love that he's still absolutely jacked. B, as a longtime fan, I'm so glad that they remembered that he smokes. Because we haven't seen him smoke since the opening FMV cutscene of the original Resident Evil. Um, I guess they kind of mentioned it in 6 that he smokes. Um, Hound Wolf Squad... Absolutely should have had Jill in it. I do not understand why Capcom will not acknowledge Jill's presence. We have not seen her since the end of Resident Evil 5. Hey Alpha, look at this. The SAA. They've gone too far. Looks pretty rough down there. How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Basically, everyone, everyone knew for before the game came Roger. out that Chris was gonna be playable. Like it's just a no-brainer. He's gonna he's gonna be playable in it. However, the whole time I was like, oh my god, wouldn't it be literally the coolest thing ever if when you finally get to play as Chris, the camera switches to a third-person perspective. Because it would, A, it would differentiate him from Ethan, and it would just be an, a nice little callback to the rest of the series, you know? Uh, I think that, I still think that would have been cool if Chris was playable in third-person, over the shoulder, like Resident Evil 5. But I'm okay with this. Uh, this is another section that people are fairly mixed on. Either you love it or you hate it. I'm in the camp of I love it. This is like one of my favorite parts of the game. This is an absolute highlight for me. So, yeah. I'm on team. I love playing as Chris and I wish that this part was longer. What the hell is that thing? He's got grenades. He's got this thing which I can't use yet. This pistol is really great by the way. All of Chris's weapons are really good. And this is another section on higher difficulties. Uh, it can actually go fuck itself. Village of Shadows, this part is not fun. Um, 
I think he also has a unique uh, counter move, which I'll try and show off. Just because it's Chris, we gotta show it off. It's also very strange that they haven't put him in mercenaries mode. Like, just the ability to, to play as him. I guess it's not really that much of a difference. But it still would have been kind of cool. Hey, boss, it's me. I'm at the location preparing for support fire. Might be a minute. Roger. Thunder here. Leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Help yourself. Yeah, so basically, anytime you see the green smoke, just know that. They put uh, they put stuff over there for you. And I like that he has night vision goggles. This is Chris like 100% prepared. I absolutely love this. All right, there's like two guys here. Let me try and get one of these guys to attack me. Right, that was he attacked me a little bit too much. Okay, but he still punched, so that's just about as good as I want. But I do still kind of want to try and see. Yeah, he has a punch. So, that's pretty nice. I also like Jeff Shine is now 2 for 2 in playable Resident Evil characters that have a punch counterattack. Um, I wish he had done a different voice for Chris or for Carlos. I just wish he gave him an accent. Because as it stands, they both just have the exact same voice. But I do really like Jeff Shine as as Chris. I think he does a good job. This is a good interpretation of Chris for sure. Um, it's also definitely one of the most badass parts in the series. I just love Chris just tears his way through the village. He's not fucking around. Which is why I, I like this. I've never cared about... Oh, there's too much action! That doesn't matter to me in the slightest. If it's fun to play, I don't really give a crap. Get the hell out of here. You assholes. They all dead? Hell yeah. They all have the same animation, too. Yeah, it's this last part on Village of Shadows that is almost unplayable. Chris just punched the guy's head off, by the way. I just want to point that out that that just happened. Where'd this guy come from? That guy was not there before. Hey, you're getting punched. Oh, this part rules so bad. I love it dearly. It, it's kind of like the the not a hero part, only um, you know, obviously not as long. But I'm hoping that if what you know, they still haven't shown from when I'm recording this, they still haven't shown the DLC off, like what that's gonna be. I hope that it's it's like a not a hero for this game. Like, what was Chris doing off screen? What was he doing the entire time? Ethan was, you know. At Castle Dami Trust, did he run into her? Was he there? Just like a separate ways, but for Chris. I've reached the target location. Damn, this is big. All right, Lobo, marking the target. Speaking of separate ways, uh, Ada was actually supposed to be in this game. They cut her out in the last minute. You can actually still see concept art, and I think that's pretty cool. By the way, this is the best place to hang out. Uh, hang out back here. And this is specifically the part that's absolutely not playable on Village of Shadows. Is when you're trying to defeat the Mutamycete and you have to uh, survive this horde. This part is literally unplayable on higher difficulties. Or I guess specifically the highest difficulty. Okay, Captain. I've reloaded. Ready when you are. But yeah, um, Ada's design in the game looked really cool. And I don't know exactly how they would have implemented her into the story, so I'm not that upset. I know a lot of people are, like, really upset that she's not in it. Uh, I think it would have been cool to see her, but I, I, the story is fine the way it is. I think it would have been a little bit too overblown if she was in it. But I wouldn't be opposed to them putting her in DLC. Like, just to see what they're gonna do. 
Alright, hopefully I can do this before these guys get here. Hold on, hold on, don't attack me yet. Also because I think they, they send way more bigger enemies at you on Village of Shadows. But it's just cool to like switch between weapons, you got this big explodey thing. It just genuinely makes you feel really cool. Reloading. Be with you soon. I'm reloaded. Also, one of the next? guys on uh, Hound Wolf Squad sounds like either Quint or Keith from Revelations, and I thought that that was like a thing that they were doing, but they didn't. None of these are established characters. Would have been cool if Chris like got the uh, got the band back together and was like, oh, Chev is on it, and Barry and Jill and like Parker. I don't know. That'd be cool just to see some more characters. But at the very least, why is Jill not here? I it I simply do not understand Capcom's unwillingness to show us what she's been doing. I think that's another animation you can cancel out of, right? No. Alright, you guys gotta go. And I gotta try and blow this thing up. God damn it. Wait, why did that say umbrella? I literally have never noticed that before. I think it's a blue umbrella thing, but I've literally never noticed that before. Uh, one of these guys is gonna hit me. Uh, yeah, the whole problem here is that anything that hits you, you get knocked out of that animation. Take that. Good. Mega my seat must be below. So, yeah, that part is. The Heisenberg fight and that part in particular are the two worst bits on Village of Shadow, without a doubt. Down. I'm going in. The rest of you stay back. Captain, I compared the mold of the village with a sample from the bakers, and uh, there's no sign of the genome editing we saw in the E series. The stuff originated here. This is the origin of the mold. That's interesting. I honestly didn't think that the mold was going to play any part in this game. Uh, so when this stuff was coming in, I was pretty, pretty happy. I love a good connected storyline. I love when they don't just ignore things from previous games. Hey there, pal. Guarding the Mega Mycete, huh? Yeah, I think for the more realistic Resident Evil that they're going with now, I think Jeff Shine's voice really fits uh, Chris quite a bit. I got a tough guy here. I'm gonna need backup. He's certainly better than the guy that did it in Seven. I'm Redfield. That guy sucked ass. Uh, so this fight, you don't really even need to like fight him. You really just gotta wait for this to recharge and keep blowing him up. Ouch. That was not fun. Uh, it's really just... Wait him out until this recharges. But, you know, we can we can pop some bullets into him, why not? Oh, that's not gonna hurt him at all. This part can be a little annoying on Village of Shadows, not that annoying. Though. Not as annoying as the last part. He's not like got eye frames. I think he does. Oh jeez. Okay. He's uh. Whoa! He just pushed me to the, like the other side there. I still they really still don't talk about blue umbrella a whole ton in this game. I would still love to know what the hell is it? Are they good? Are they bad? Are they just pretending to be good? They don't really touch on that at all. Alright, guy. This is the end for you. Maybe? Maybe he's still got another one in him. No, I think that's it for me. I'll keep going. 
rest of you, stay above ground. What is this? Oh, it's right in here. You can just walk through that too, by the way. You don't have to wait for that to, like, split apart. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. I really genuinely I like it. this part. It's the Mega My Seed. I just think it's neat. I also love that the cutscenes are not in first person. Alpha the squad. I've located the Mega My Seed. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. And two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but... We really should have told Ethan the plan. There wasn't time. We didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. I agree. Yeah. I think everyone agrees. This is the biggest misstep of the story, is that Chris just seems like a big, gigantic dumb guy for not saying anything to Ethan. Obviously, they wanted you to think, like, oh, Chris is a bad guy now. Which, I don't know a single person who honestly thought that. Everyone was like, yeah, it was probably, like, not Mia, or Mia this is bad, or something like that. This is another part of the game people don't really like, but I, 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 f I think it's fine. Because it is, at the end of the day, a big plot dump. It's a lore dump room. But I like that. I think that's fine. Uh, Salvatore Moreau, Cadu Affinity low, brain function surprisingly low. The Cadu has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills and a swim bladder. Another subject with a regular cell division, causing him to transform into a giant fish. The subject is unable to control this transformation. Too many defects, an unfit vessel for Ava. Let's see, who's this gonna be? Probably Heisenberg, I think. Nope. Subject name, Alcina Domitresk. Cadu affinity, most favorable. Brain functions, normal. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. The subject can heal any external wound within seconds and grows her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. Due to a hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. An unfit vessel for Ava. Let's see, this one's definitely Heisenberg. Carl Heisenberg. Cadu affinity incredibly favorable. Brain functions normal. Has electric organs similar to the electric ray. Narke Japonica. These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system. Can therefore pass and control electricity throughout the entire body, allowing control of magnetic fields which is used to move metal. Splendid specimen, but still an unfit vessel for Ava. Subject name, Donna Beneviento. Cadu affinity, favorable. Brain functions normal, although severe mental illness. Physically, she is no different from a regular human, however, she can secrete a signal-producing substance which controls plants infected by the mutamycete. When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her cadu amongst her dolls in order to control them from a distance, an unfit vessel for Ava. Okay, so the other dolls were controlled. Cadu. So they're using this to control the bioweapons. Not that dissimilar from 
like the Plagas and stuff. So again, another area in which this game is basically the same as Resident Evil 4. Let's see what we got here. We got... That's either... Cadu... Oh, that's definitely Cadu, because that's... Pretty fucked up looking. It's not a real baby. That looks like Laura Bailey. But I think it's supposed to be, uh... It's supposed to be Mother Miranda. I assume with her daughter Ava. Who we've heard about. Ah, she looks familiar. Interesting. I remember this picture from Resident Evil 7. So it looks like in some way she was connected to Evelyn. Or at least she's doing research on her. Interesting. Let's see, what do we got here? This is clearly like a drawing. Some of these are like clearly like renders or something, but that one is straight up just a drawing. Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose, for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. I have always cherished the revelations I came to fifteen years ago when I stayed in your village. I was inspired by your research. To think, one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism. Positively visionary. I knew that with that knowledge I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Hmm, sounds a little familiar. Even after two world wars, and humanity on the cusp of another. My conviction never wavered. I realized, however, through the many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hope to bring back a single dead person, while I aim to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I have found the key to evolution. The progenitor. A virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues. Dedicated to the virus's research. I will call it Umbrella. Just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much, and for that I will be forever in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswell E. Spencer. Spencer, here. No way. I'm very glad that they gave Chris a line of dialogue for that. Because if he read that and was just like, Okay, that's that. I would have been very annoyed. You know, there's some good stuff here. We got some kind of like drawings of some of the enemies that we've fought. This part's cool. Again, people don't like this part because they're like, it's just a big dumb lore dump room, which I'm fine with. I don't care that they throw all of this at you literally at once. It's fine. My Ava, it's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then. But now, now I can bring you back to life from the Mega My Seat. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the Mega My Seat Regulator, the Giant's Chalice. All that is left is to merge her with the Mega My Seat. The ceremony can finally begin. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I so wanted to be with you again. And that's when I found it. The Mega Mycete. Completely by accident. When I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Mega Mycete breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, there would be a way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Mega Mycete. That way I could control them, experiment on them. 
I have experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Cadu. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alcina, who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold in your DNA, but all they created was another defect, Evelyn. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and I knew she would be the perfect vessel. There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Ava, I have waited too long to see you again. And then we got more pictures of stuff. You got the guy in the back is the guy who died on the ship. In seven, you got Evelyn in the in the uh, the front there, and then Mia on the side. All the important characters are dressed in black, and the one guy's face is all fucked up. He's like uh, in the ring when you get your picture taken. And another picture that she has of herself. It's a little uh. A little annoying there, huh? I think this was the only note that I didn't get, or there's like something in here that I didn't examine the very first time I played the game, and it was the only thing that I missed. So there's that. Am I not missing anything here? I thought there was a note in here. Maybe there's a note in another place? I don't know. But yeah, that's uh, a whole lot of lore that we just got all at once there. And as soon as you shoot this, the section's over. Show me your hands! Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still at the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. It really is you. I'm glad you saved me. Why are you here? I was caught in Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it. You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is, is gone. I couldn't save him, but I can save Rose. Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. 